Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Weedcraft Incorporated. So, um, it just so happens uh, I was at PAX East 2019, and uh, of the many, many games I uh, uh, surveyed, one of, one, one of them that caught my eyes was uh, the Devolver Digital Booth, and uh, there, I mean, they had a couple of games up for offer, but this was one of them, a tycoon game involving weed. So, you know what? And, and it also just so happens that they lobbed me a, an early uh, press key, so thank you very much. So let's uh, let's dive into this. Um, bit of a controversial topic, but you know what? I like the way the game handles it. There's a little tongue-in-cheek, you know, stoner humor in there, but it, they don't they don't make it into a farce. They they actually present some of the topical and uh, realistic dilemmas, questions, ethical, legal, and what have you surrounding weed in our modern era. So let's dive in. Um, that being said, it is a competent tycoon game. It's not just a, a, a preaching game in, in the guise of that. So let's do that. All right, so uh, my embargo says that I must stick with the growing up scenario. There is one other one, the highs and lows scenario, but we are going to do, do growing up. It's also your sort of your stock standard tutorial uh, scenario as well. It also sets the, sets the tone as well. So let's dive in. Welcome home, man. So yeah, the premise here is that uh, we are um, we are a former MBA student. We didn't quite graduate. We didn't get our thing, but we have a little business acumen under our belt. And our brother uh, just informed us that our dad has passed away. Um, so we kind of reunite there, our uh, stoner brother, uh, Clyde here. As you can see, he's not uh, not terribly. Uh, he doesn't think highly of higher education, the Maximum Brainwashing Association. What do you mean? I have a business proposal to you. Let me guess. It involves smoking a bunch of weed. Change the verb, and you got it. See, I like I like Clyde. He's he's he is a a, a, a stoner, but he's got priorities. Um, so this early part is more of the tutorial, and you know what, I'll take you guys with it. Uh, since, um, you guys haven't probably played this game yet, because it's, no, not out yet. It's a better alternative than opioids and benzos. Opioids? Dad was using opioids? Yeah, the doctors prescribed him Percocet and Oxy for the pain, but they screwed up his digestion and his tolerance kept climbing. A few months in, and he was the shell of a man he used to be. That's why I started growing. Come on, with your head for commerce and mine for the shady side of the street, we could own this town's weed market. It's about to start a new batch. Let me show you how it works. We want to keep the lights on here. We're going to need a whole lot of weed. All right, so in order to grow, I mean, basic science tells you you need a source of light. And since uh, weed is illegal and therefore underground, quote unquote, um, we, uh, we, need to, we need some uh, artificial lighting here. We got one strain here, and strains are going to be a very important thing here. Reggie, or reggae. Um, now, I, uh, I am not enough of a weed head to know if... Uh, um, if, red, if this is actually a real strain of weed or if it's actually a, just a, a fictional one. Uh, but luckily, it lets you save this con configuration. I mean, all we have is one plant and one type of soil, so we can just copy paste it along here. We'll start our growing here. And let us goose the time here. 
So you can water your plants and you can tease them for growth here. Uh, watering helps uh, keep the quality up uh, to an extent. It's, it's, uh, this is, first off, uh, at first I, I was looking at this and I thought, is this a, uh, like a cell phone clicker game? It's not. This is a little bit of busy work that the game um, uh, tasks you with in the very early game, uh, but there are ways um, for you to automate all this stuff so that you're not clicking the entire game here. And the game kind of like, it has structures and mechanics to, to automate this, and it's kind of meant to do that way. So early game, yeah, you're getting your hands dirty, uh, literally, and getting in here to uh, grow your own stuff. So an orphan at 24 with half an MBA to our name. Well, still not bad. That implies a uh, a, a bachelor's degree at the at the very least. But eh, let's see where this takes us. Um, all right, harvest is in. Time to trade all this green for some green. Let's do it. Let's light this candle. No worry, I talked to my homies down at the marketplace. It's safe there and they'll set you up without any other problems. If we can sell some weed, we'd be on our way to a real business. I'm just going to wait for this last plant to come uh, to finish up. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, training the plants makes them grow a little bit faster. So it's useful to do to get your harvest just a little bit faster. Um, Alright, so while those cook, we'll set up here at the marketplace. So we are now officially, well, not quite. We have to uh, say, all right, so we set up one slot to sell. We are selling Reggie for eight. Um, and our, you can see our, um, our groups up here. So there's at the market, there are vagrants, regular Joes and jocks. Um, and uh, well, Reggie is kind of crap. Um, and vagrants can't uh, can't really afford very much for some reason. Uh, so their price threshold's eight. Now you can go above the price threshold. Um, that's and that's actually pr perfectly fine. They'll they'll like it a little bit less, but you can still milk them for a little bit extra. So you know what, bums is nine bucks for you. Sorry guys, they'll still buy it. Reggie is fine, but the quality really sucks. The price is kind of high though. So what I'm saying is I want to give you $864 worth. And it looks like the regular Joes are uh, interested as well. Now, the vagrants are are into this stuff. They, they, the Re Reggie has stuff that they like. So if we look at their tastes here, so what do vagrants like? They want weed that has an earthy flavor and has pain relief properties. Now, our Reggie doesn't have any pain-killing properties. It's not that good, but it happens to have an earthy flavor. So they like the flavor of the stuff. It's garbage, but it's good-tasting garbage for them. So they're, they're, they're willing to actually pay some green for it. All right, let's go back in here. I'm going to keep the speed on medium, um, keep our plants a water and, and a training. The game will let me know once the, uh, once the vagrants are back for more, uh, uh, for more uh, weed. Should be coming. They, they hit once a month or so. Yep. I'll take the Reggie, please. Oh, polite vagrants. Very polite. All right. Well, we sold 150 grams of the stuff at nine bucks a gram. Um, and yeah, keep on keeping on. And we got a new strain, Super Lemon Haze. Ooh, lemony fresh. You could probably mop the floors with this stuff too. Uh, so this one has completely different properties. Um, so it's got a citrusy flavor. Every every strain of weed has a has a flavor to it. So this one is citrusy. It also has the properties of arousal, uh, happiness, and anti-depression. I'm guessing this makes you less sad. This makes you happier than just normal happy, I guess. So it, it puts a smile on your face no matter how down in the dumps you are. All right, we don't want to sell for good. Let's beat Bumps. He's been selling weed longer than anyone can remember. What's good, my guys? Your product is decent? No, it's not. It's crap. We got to get it to the right people. I can teach you to understand your customers. Let's do it. 
The vagrants down the marketplace are fine with your Reggie, but the jocks are more picky. You gotta give them some choice. Demographics and market demands, now that I understand. Unfortunately, all I can grow is Reggie right now. Man, you guys are amateurs. Listen, here's some super lemon haze seeds. Don't say I never gave you nothing. Now let's get to it. There's a beach chair in the Caribbean with my name in it. Alright, so we can expand our grow operation here. So now we've got twice the pots here. Um, let's, let's slow things down a little bit here. So we're going to want to set up here. Super lemon haze. Still poor soil. That's the only choice we got at the moment. This becomes a lot more complex as we get deeper in here. Promise. So we've got the super lemon haze. Let's copy pasta. Perfect. Oh yeah, lights. Derp to derp. Can't grow without the lights. Now we got six plants to manually ten. We're still not quite going for high, high quality here. I mean, we're still dealing with crappy soil and we don't really have good conditions for it either. We don't have the means to make conditions better, but we'll be getting to that very soon. This is an interesting dynamic and, and one that I really, really freaking like. Like, I think it's really compelling the way they do it. So yeah, each plant can only be watered and trained so many times during their growth, but we might as well, because there's nothing else for us. We, we're not, we don't have any more customers coming at the moment because we're out of uh, Reggie here. So we've got no product to sell at the moment. So we will just keep on doing our thing while we wait for these to become mature. They all grow up so quickly. Yeep. Yeah, if you hold it for too long, then the training doesn't go quite as well. So minor risk and reward, but we're still, it, it's still not too bad. Um, it's worth doing the time if you have the extra time to click on them and, and make that happen. All right, we got people wanting to buy our stuff. And also selling here is also a, uh, something that can be automated, which we'll get to shortly. Uh, so you don't have to go there and personally sell every single time. But we're bringing, building up a, an appreciable amount of cash. Again, we're not going to get rich on Reggie here. All right, and we're out. <laughs> There's a lot of demand there. Um, the thing with vagrants is they are not picky. Uh, they don't have much money at all, but uh, there are a lot of vagrants there. So the demand is going to be high and you can move a lot of volume. One of the, uh, there, there's a couple of like different approaches you can go to this game in terms of how you sort of angle your business and how you focus on things. You can go for quantity, just tons and tons of cheap garbage that you push to everybody. Uh, and quality, which is uh, just allows you to, um, you know, if you focus on making something really good, you can um, sell it to some people who have more cash to pay for the good stuff. All right, so we've got our super lemon haze harvested here. Um, let me just finish up with the uh, tending here. Oh yeah, we have to build, buy a second spot because you need a second a spot for each product that you sell. So we have that and uh, super lemon haze. We want to goose it to oh for Pete's sake. Uh, let's do 19 because the jocks the jocks can um, they can afford nine. In fact, you know what? We can push them to 20. One one dollar more. Jocks want to buy your product. So we're getting a lot more money per gram for that stuff. Now there's two groups of vagrants here, only one group of jocks. So there's not quite the volume, but the jo and the jocks kind of want something better, but they're willing to pony up the dough. Are you the famous broccoli purveyor? <laughs> broccoli. Um, right then. Oh yeah, I did not mean to buy that third dealer spot. Luckily, you get a refund on that. 
All right, we sold 50 grams of the Super Lemon Haze. Now we just got to build our cash reserves up to 7,500. Oop, something's ready. And you know what? Uh, just because it's so much more profitable, I'm just going to replace these with Super Lemon Haze as well. Reggie is really, really kind of garbage. And the jocks, even though there's only one group of them, the jocks will churn through this volume quickly enough. So we might as well get paid the bigger bucks for it all. I mean, we'll sell the Reggie that we got. No, no, uh, no sense in doing that. I'm only buying it because it's cheap. I hate it and the quality is garbage. Uh, it's, uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking that says something about, uh, 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 you know, it's like, oh, it's on sale. I hate it. I don't need it. I don't want it. It's my least favorite type of weed, but it's on sale. It's cheap. Yeah, I know Reggie has run out and isn't produced. Yeah, I know they want to they want to get the last remnants of the stuff. Well, you guys can wait. Sit, cool your heels. It's the final uh, final edition of uh, of the Reggie, so you guys can sit around and wait. From what I can tell, there's no ill effects of uh, making them wait for it other than um, you know, it it just takes longer for you to get the next time they want it. So, if you're trying to do high volume, you want to get to them as quickly as possible. All right, we'll sell the last to you. And our first round on Super Lemon Haze while we're at it. Let's just take Reggie off the market because, eh, I'd rather have the profitable stuff. Give me those big bucks. I like big bucks and I do not lie. All right, uh, we're still on medium speed. Excellent. Things, things become a little bit more dynamic, actually a lot more dynamic and interesting as we progress through the scenario here and start unlocking some of the deeper and deeper, you know, some of the techs and some of the, the minutia here that we'll be getting into very shortly. If all, of, all the game was was just clicking and selling, yeah, that's not a compelling one, but there's a lot of detail here. A lot of detail to be, to be had. All right. Let's keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Get those waterings going. I mean, for a low quality product, you technically, oh, hi there. Um, these things are actually doing just fine. Let me just drop some water on you guys real quick. We plant you real quick and go tend to our friends, the jocks. All right, 7,500 bucks. All right, 250 for that. So now there's a couple new strains, but we have to decide if we want to buy them. Uh, so Northern Lights has an earthy flavor like our Reggie, but it's also got a uh, the spacing out quality and pain relief. So if we really wanted to tailor to the vagrants, this would be our strain. The vagrants would love this. This is exactly what the vagrants want. Uh, I mean, they don't care about the spacing out, but it, they don't. They don't. Well, they won't rate it lower because it has an extra property. They just like the earthy flavor and they like the pain relief part of it. Um, or. We could also buy Granddaddy Purple, uh, which has a sweet flavor to it, also has the spacing out property, also has the pain relief property, and also has the relaxed body property. So this one, a little bit, a uh, little bit more dynamic. It's also a bit more expensive to buy the strain. Um, I mean, we can, we have the option to buy those whenever we want. Um, so we can, we can, uh, we can, we can pick those up when we're good and ready for them. I'm not quite good and ready for it yet. Uh, we're on the street that Sean's bunch is slowly lurking in and around the city. They might soon decide to start selling in our backyard. Be sure to blow them away on quality. Advise us, please. 
You never move any flour if those guys be, will be selling better stuff right next to you. You gotta get your stash up to uncommon quality at least. That should do the trick. Okay. So, <coughs> now we can start getting into quality control. And this, I like this system because you need to do some experimentation and you need to tailor your growing spaces a little bit. So right now, our super lemon haze, um, you know, yes, we're using the poor soil, but within that soil, we can determine what nutrients there are. There are three nutrients to worry about, nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, and uh, potassium here. Now by themselves, like, <coughs> there is a correct number for each of these and it's different for every strain and right off the bat you do not know what those numbers are so you need to experiment a little bit now they gave us a little bit of a freebie with a super uh, super lemon haze here he told us that the correct number for nitrogen is seven and the correct number for phosphorus is one so we're going to apply that to all of those. But he said, I, I never quite got the, um, uh, the uh, potassium level. So it's up to us to figure out the best potassium levels. Now, what I like to do is I like to use like three plants as sort of my experimental guinea pigs. I set one to a five, which is like right, stressed, uh, right, right in the middle. I'm going to take one and I'm going to bring it down to a two. And I'm going to take one and bring it up to a nine. And watch, watch, watch what the, watch what we, what we do here. Once these, um, you get to, you get an idea of how, how good the conditions are when you water. So nine out of 15. Remember when we were watering this earlier and it was like five out of 15, six out of 15. That tells you how good the conditions are and therefore how much of an increase in quality you're going to get. So nine out of 15 is much better, but that's also probably because we got these two numbers correct. Uh, let's look at this one. 11 out of 15, nine out of 15. So we know that the better number here is a two. Um, now, we don't know if that's the optimal number or not, because uh, we only took three guesses. So now that we know that it's in the neighborhood of two, I mean, it might be two. Two might be the right number. Um, we're going to we're gonna sort of like scatter shot around two. So we're going to make you a one. We're going to make you a three. We're going to make you a four. And then on the next watering, we'll, have an, uh, we'll get another bit of feedback as to how good our, uh, our how good our guess was. All right, let's go 10 to the jocks because we do need to move our product here. All right, let's sniff these. It'll make the water come due. All right, 10 out of 15, not as good as 11. 10 out of 15, not as good as 11. And 10 out of 15. So we were actually right the first time with two. Two is the correct answer here. Now when we apply this to everything, now we're going to be rocking out some much better super lemon haze here. Estimated quality, uncommon. That's what we like. Um, and it'll only get better from here. Um, now these plants probably won't be so high because we were growing them. We were watering them under the less than perfect uh, conditions here. So let's just crank up the speed a little bit. Now there's two other components that uh, will lend themselves to um, um, to better things. And that's humidity and um, temperature, which we will get into a little bit later. At the moment, we do not have the tools at our disposal to optimize those, but you can get real, real deep into it. Now, fussing over all of those conditions can take a lot of money, time, effort, and what have you, uh, but can give you a better product. That being said, can also no narrow your focus um, you know if you want to just go for raw quantity and you don't care about quality you can get a lot more volume out of the uh, out of some of the other options here yeah so this stuff is gonna be kind of garbage uh, I think we're only sitting yeah we're only sitting at common level quality 
And the jocks don't terribly, um, don't really care for that. They, the jocks actually have a higher standard. Uh, they, they want rare level quality. Uh, compare that to the vagrants who really don't give a crap how good their stuff is. They, they want to just smoke anything. But they also only have eight bucks compared to the 19 bucks that the jocks are packing. Or rather, they can pack more than just the 19. Now, since we've got more cash and we got a little more room here, let's up our uh, throughput here at a new spot. Um, now, I could do more Reggie. We could uh, we could do the same kind of experimentation on Reggie. I don't know why um, we would, just because I mean, there's a lot. Uh, we're still going to get a lot more throughput. But then again, it'll help us clear our stocks a little bit faster. So maybe I won't begrudge. I mean, we've got the second spot anyway. So, you know, we can do... Um, maybe we can make Reggie not quite so garbage. Eh, no. No, more Super Lemon Haze. Because we already know the optimal stuff for that. Oh, derp. There we go. Save setup. And it'll copy over the soil... Uh, conditions over to them as well. Oh yes, another light. Can't forget the light. What's our, what's my new mission? Oh yeah, uh, tweak the potassium level. So as soon as we get to harvest time with some of these, um, we'll be able to fulfill our mission and continue on our quest. And every time we beat one of these one of these missions and sub things. Um, it'll, it'll open up more, more tools for us to, uh, you know, update and manage everything here. And like I said, it gets, you know, right now it, it, we've kind of been spoon fed, uh, a little bit of, uh, of, of a thing. Like, you know, we were given a strain that happens to be good at the, at the target market in the area that we're already kind of selling at. Once, uh, as the game progresses, you're not going to be spoon fed these perfect strain and market pairings. It's going to be up to you to find the markets. Um, so that's, that's where it gets real interesting here. All right. We got, we still got our three underground grows churning away. Clip these to get them stinkified here. Oh yeah, now we now we're at uncommon level, so that's good enough for the quest. Sell 150 grams of super super lemon haze of at least common quality. Easily done. Also, when you uh, when you harvest strains of different thing, it averages the quality rating. So. We've got a little garbage in here, but you can see the bar on the common is a little bit higher. And as we sell out of the uh, out of the lower quality junk, then the average quality of our rate of our product will eventually crush into the next threshold, and that'll impact demand. Because as we get closer to the jocks demanded uh, level, they'll they'll want the product more. Right now, the fact that we're not meeting their their uh, expectations is putting a slight damper on sales. They're, every time the jocks show up to buy, there's, there's, they're, they're not buying as many grams. Um, but as our, as our attractiveness rating, as the star rating goes up, um, then see right now, see right now, third, they're, they're at a 1.5 star rating and they wanna buy 36 grams. I think it's 12 grams per half star. So as you increase the star rating with them, as your product becomes more and more attractive, you're going to get more and more quantity purchased every time they show up to buy stuff. Um, and as you can see here, we're actually making a little bit more than we can really move here. Not a whole ton more, but I have a feeling that once our star rating goes up, once we sell out of our, our common junk and get into... Um, uh, into uncommon and maybe rare level stuff, then then we'll be in good shape. Yes, I could also increase the star rating by lowering the price, but I want money. I like money. All right, get our watering on, and yeah, let's just clip everything here. 
This becomes a lot easier once we get employees to help us out. Although there is merit in the game to doing some of the tending to yourself. Um, that's not, I mean, you can, you can stop doing this altogether um, fairly early on if you don't want to be bothered. But sometimes having the personal touch, you, it, it, you can tend stuff faster than your employees can, at least until your employees become much higher level. All right, um, how's our quality doing? We're still sitting on common. I think we just gotta wait till we sell out of everything or just get some better stuff in. Let's crank the speed a little bit. We'll sell more stuff. All right, well, we got that. All right, a little more, uh, a little more cash. Simple soil, a new grading, growing medium is available. So instead of that crappy soil, we now have simple soil, which actually gives us a 10% quality bonus. Um, now it costs us a little bit more uh, per thing here, but it's better than the simple stuff. Well, it happened, Sean and his boys are here. I think they uh, took hold over the marketplace pretty tight. Good thing we're prepared. How's the weeds uh, Clyde showed you? It's good, but you can't get rid of pesky rival through good product alone. Might work on some lowly dealers, but Sean knows the game. Gleefulis, you do too. You got it, kid. Now listen. A couple ways to dealing with competition. So yeah, you can either increase your quality or lower your price or do some shadier things to get rid of them. Um, so essentially, and, and this is, this, this is an argument for why you might want Reggie, um, is the more volume you move, the more you hurt your competition. Basically every sale at sale you make hurts them, but they also regenerate their health, quote unquote, uh, as time goes on. So if you're only moving a little bit of stuff, they're going to stick around and get stronger. Um, but if, uh. But if you're diligent about that, then yeah. Uh, so one thing we can do here to up our game is uh, we can get better soil in here. So we'll get some simple soil and we'll, uh, we'll replace that. So now we can just drag this onto everything else. And we can even swap out for the stuff that's still mid-growth. We've got plenty of cash to do this too. I mean, hmm. We could do, we could do so, we could do one round of Reggie here. Actually, let's, so yeah, let's switch this. And we'll get the Reggie in the good pot here. I'm gonna keep everything else super lemon haze though. Just upgrade the rest of the pots. Estimated quality, rare, look at that. So now we're actually on target to produce uh, some stuff that is good enough for the jocks tastes. Um, so that will just continuously increase the uh, star quality here. Now, as far as competition at your, at your place, I mean, they do compete with you for sales of the stuff. But that doesn't stop people from coming to you. See how look how um, see how uh, we're we're um, we're getting less. That's because um, yeah, they're only buying twenty six grams from us. The uh, the rest of the stuff that they would have bought from us is being poached by the other two offerings of uh, Sean's bunch. And as you can see, o, uh, ODN. Um, is a higher uh, is a higher uh, star level there, so there that's actually getting uh, a fairly high amount of uh, revenue there. So we can do a couple of things. We can wait for the quality to bump itself up, which well, it'll take a little while to trickle in. Uh, we can also drop the price. 
Um, and it wants us to drop the price here to, uh, to where it has a 3.5 star. So let's drop you to 16 bucks. And yeah, now now uh, now the regular Joes are in on su some some super lemon haze action. They don't really like it, but it's cheap. All right, got you. Didn't need to do the snip in there. Fair enough. Alright, yeah, and we definitely want to keep up with our uh, with our selling thing here. So now now we've got we've got full full uh, stuff on there. So we got a lot more grams sold. And even though they're beating us a little bit with the uh, in the eyes of the um, regular Joes, I'm not really targeting the super lemonades towards the regular Joes. Oh yeah, let's put Reggie back on the market. Um. Yeah, you know. Yeah, he's not he's not offering anything to the vagrants. So we can kind of gouge them a little bit. Just a little bit. But yeah, we're still number one on there. They're almost dead out of the market anyway. I think I'm just going to do the one round of uh, Reggie here. I'm not even going to bother trying to get the quality up because the bums don't care. They really don't care. I mean, they care a little bit. I mean, there is a little uptick in quality uh, uh, if you beat their expectations, but for the bums, it's like minimal. Like they really could care less about how how much how how, uh, how flavorful their weed is. I mean, they like the earthy flavor, so yes, they they like the taste of the dirt. I don't like it, but I'm buying it anyway. All right, now, as you can see, the bar is going down every single time. Every single time that we uh, sell something, that bar goes down. Um, so that makes it uh, more and more attractive to us and makes them weaker and weaker until we will eventually drive them out of the market. Now, as far as I can tell, the... Um, the rivals don't follow like the exact mechanics like it doesn't it doesn't track your rivals exact plant production and stuff like that it kind of uh, generalizes them but it's fairly fair you know you can you can and there's actually a couple of different approaches you can do you can you can you know fight off your rivals like we are right now you can sort of scare them off um you can get them booted all right there we go And now we could well we we got to get the the thing up to one three three and a half stars. Um, we're at uncommon rating, but I think we'll go up to rare, and that'll up increase our star rating once we harvest this. There it is. That bumped us up to rare, so it's good. All right. And now we can get into temperature manipulation with this small fan. You can also get some better lighting. Now there's a trade-off to some of these different lights. Um, everything has a little bit of a, a property here. So I've been getting my botany on. Yeah, lighting, humidity, and temperature. I am all in. Also, this is, I think, when we can um, uh, start uh, hiring people. So. Now we can upgrade our lights. Now, one of the primary things of lights, obviously you need a light to grow, but how much you yield you get depends primarily on the light. Right now we will, we will get 50 grams of weed per com uh, fully mature pl uh, plant. Um, you can also see that the light here costs us nothing per month. This is dirt cheap. Um, raises the ambient temperature by one degree and adds plus two to the uh, police vigilance. Um, now, if we go down to the Supermart room lamp, now we can see we're going to be getting 60 grams per plant. 
Now it is going to cost us 25 bucks per month per light. So the increase in performance comes at a cost. Now these lights are actually a little bit more temperature efficient. They, they don't put out any heat, but also the uh, cops be, are a little bit warier of them. So uh, increased police vigilance. We, we're gonna go into police vigilance very soon, but it's still worth it because the yield alone is, is good. So we'll get you, we'll get you, and we'll get you. And you want a small fan? So yes, the placing equipment takes up spots for growing. So <coughs> the more equipment you put in your in your area, uh, the more support equipment, I should say, the less space you have for growing. That being said, this uh, this equipment will help because it gives you uh, the ability to uh, play with the temperature slider here. So we have replaced that plot with a fan, just a simple fan, and now we can play with the um, with the temperature. Now it's it's feeding me this 69 degrees. It, that is actually the ideal temperature for super lemon haze. So we were previously uh, growing at an unideal temperature, and that caused the quality to suffer a little bit. So by putting in this fan and also having the perfect soil, we are increasing the quality even better. You can get to that, that star level quality by having all conditions correct, but even then it's gonna be hard to get to the final legendary quality. You need a little something, a little extra oomph to be able to hit that. I actually haven't hit that yet in the game. Oh yeah, let's go back to the marketplace uh, because we don't want to be giving this stuff away. We need to go back up in price. All right, Super Lemon Haze, you're going back up to 20 bucks. In fact, part of me wants to uh, go even higher here. Yeah, because we're still at a two-star rating at 22 bucks with the with the uh, jocks because our quality keeps going up. So let's just bring in more cash, more dough. We uh, we have a lot of plans um, because right now we're just in one location, well, two locations. What we're growing in one, we're selling in another. We've got plans, plans, I tell you. But we're just waiting to unlock the appropriate equipment. Uh, to be able to act on those plans. Yeah, it got expensive, but deal with it. You're willing to pay it. Now they're not, again, they're not buying as much, but they're buying me out here. So that's good enough for me. And we actually sold out of all of our super lemonade. So we got to get more of it. This Reggie is turning out to be a bad investment because we already drove the competition out. But we might as well harvest it and sell it to the vagrants while we're at it. I am, however, going to be replacing you with Super Lemon A's. But waste not what not and all that. Alright, more Super Lemon Haze. More super lemonades. Grow, grow, and let's go talk to the vagrants. It's a bit better now. Well, I did grow it in real soil. You're. Wow! The jocks actually want to buy a little of the Reggie because it's that cheap compared to their price point. Because again, $11 Reggie is insanely expensive to a vagrant. Uh, but to a jock, that's chump change. It's it's bargain basement. <laughs> this garbage is really overpriced. And yet you're bar buying it, dude. And yet you buy it. Besides, I'm not growing this crap anymore. Because you guys don't quite have the funds for it. I mean, there, there are mechanics in the game where if you really wanted to go and like be a sort of a slum lord and actually build your empire on the backs of vagrants and other low you know high quantity uh, low quality stuff you can absolutely do it it is a viable option i i um it's not necessarily the way i want to do it but it's uh it's certainly there and i appreciate the fact that the mechanics are 
are able to support the multiple methods here. All right, what's our what's our what's our deal here? Oh, hire an employee. I should be doing that. Instead of sitting here and clicking like a foo, let's get uh, let's let's make somebody else do our dirty work. So our employees, let's see what we got here. So employees have three key skills. You got growing, selling, and shady stuff. Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna I'm gonna start with a seller who's also decent at shady stuff, just because um, it kind of helps us out. Uh, and he's cheap enough. We're still good doing the growing ourselves. Once we expand our grow operations, we're going to want someone who's good with the plants. Um, and then you, I'm going to have you go here. And yeah, we'll have you help with the plants. Just to, just to keep you busy. All right, so we have just leveled up. Um, now this is a this is a mechanic that actually I mean it's completely different but it, it reminds me of the um, of uh, the you know you you have two levels you have your shady level and your uh, decent level and that's sort of like your uh, you know you know uh, legal above the table uh, level of business acumen versus your underworld street smarts and you can start buying perks. Um, we also got a small air purifier, which reduces police vigilance. It kind of takes the stink of the weed out of the air, so people stop complaining about it. And the Supermart HID um, gives us yields of 90. That, that's up from the 60, but puts out a whopping 4 degree increase in temperature per light and crank, cranks up the police vigilance by 10 these things are a lot more noticeable because you're drawing so much freakish power. And I'm sure brownouts in the buildings are a thing. More strains available for purchase. Maui Wowie and Holy Wowie. This one's got a lot going for it. So we got tropical flavors, uh, focus, uh, giggliness. These two seem slightly opposed, but hey, I'll take it. Um, energy and higher libido. So, uh, yeah, you can, uh, I can, <laughs> uh, I can see like college students liking this stuff. It's also really expensive though. Whoa, it's the please man. Don't arrest me, Mr. Please man. Yes, officer. I know what's going on in there. You have people coming in out of there and it smells like someone ran over a skunk, uh, a citrus flavored skunk. I hope not. Oh no, I love skunks. I wouldn't push my luck if I were you. In fact, I'd take some uh, action if you catch my draft. Find a way to lower your profile unless you want to see a whole lot more of me. Hey, was that the cops? Yeah, I handled it. I handled it for now, but that visit makes me think that Commissioner Francis still haunts the town, even if he's in New York now. Now what? We want to do this long term. We're going to need to work on lowering our profile. <coughs> Excuse me. So now the fact that we are an illegal underground weed operation is now the whole underground illegal part is now becoming important to us. So now we kind of keep a low profile. This is where the the police uh, uh, the police things here uh, comes in mind here. So first thing is it's telling us to buy a perk. It's, it's instructing us on a perk that we must purchase. Um, and it wants us to buy the police veterans donation. All police officers will have a higher relationship upon being introduced. Um, because there's a couple of different ways to deal with the cops. I mean, you can try and hide yourself completely. Um, or you can uh, just have them look the other way if you befriend them. This helps with the befriending uh, way. Um, we also have a um, we also have a um, a point to spend on the decent side here. But right now, uh, there's nothing I want. As your level increases, the de how deep you can go into the tree increases. So I'm kind of saving my decent point for that. So we'll just hold on to it for now. All right, so now there's a few more things that we can do to, to keep the cops away. We can set up a front business in our home, get that air purifier in our grow, um, and um, lower the police vigilance here. 
So we've got uh, we've got the the cash here to uh, set up a front business here. So instead of setting up another grow activity here, you can set up. You can also sell to the locals here at the house, but we're going to set up a uh, a front business. We got a tea room, which doesn't bring anybody new, or at least nobody who wants to buy weed. They're there for the other kind of leaves. Uh, pizza restaurant will bring us students. Uh, so we, if we also set up a dealer's corner, we could then start selling to students. Um, and then the game studio will bring the uh, hipsters. Uh, but it's also freakishly expensive. So we're going to just do the tea room. Bada boom, bada bing. Now, one of the things with the tea room here in any front business is you need to work it uh, from time to time to continuously lower your police um, um, uh, level here. So, but we can have our, um, our employee do this, and that's kind of the reason I did that. So we're going to have you, when the time comes, work the tea room to make it actually look like a legitimate business here. Um, right then. So, we are here. Now, the other thing it wants us to do is, um, is, um, get a, uh, air purifier here. That's another piece of equipment, much like the fan here. Now, you can see the employee here is helping out here. He's, I'm not really having him do all of the, um, you know, the gardening here, because that's not really what I hired him for, but... If he's uh, busy doing this, it'll help him gain skill points faster. And look at that, we're 15 out of 15 on our stuff here. Now that we have the right temperature, it just so happens that the humidity is perfect. <coughs> and he screwed that up. I might not have him do that, actually. I'd prefer him uh, not touching my plants. Um, he's better at other stuff, so we'll tell you. Uh, no plants, please. No, no that. So... Well, the plants are still in us. See, see, he, see how he, uh, they, you know, we had customers appear and he went and sold to them. You know, it's we get the same amount for it. It takes him a little time for it, but that way we don't have to keep clicking on them. Uh, and now we have the, um, we have this police thing here. Uh, so watch this. Bink! And it lops 50 off the top. And that keeps spotting. So the, um... Uh, the front business is a gift that keeps on giving when it comes to lowering your police presence. Now, our police presence goes up every time we harvest weed because of the stench, uh, but that kind of helps keep it in check. Uh, but also, the, um, the, um, the, the, the air purifier is, an, is another thing that is meant to keep that in check as well. those clips so they're growing faster basically I'm gonna replace one of these with uh, with the air purifier I, I long term I don't really think I need it because the front business actually does enough police um, you know stuff to help uh, but there's one more thing we can do to help keep the heat off of us and that's actually talk to the officer let's befriend him so we can see here here's the uh, here's the police station there are two officers um, that patrol this part of the town and you can see which ones they cover and then there's the police chief now this is an interesting dichotomy uh, well I'll explain it in a minute first let's talk to Steve Polanski so here this is like a little mini game where we're trying to make friends here now you can raise your um, stuff here with chatting um, and chatting just helps your relationship go up a little bit um, and um, as you as you do your chats, you have a chance of uncovering deeper topics, which will allow you to do more chats. If you just keep chatting, eventually they'll get bored and you're, they'll stop talking to you and your relationship are lower. I found that you can do three, um, three, uh, three chats here. And yeah, it's kind of random about what you're saying. So now we're up to familiar. So let's talk about other stuff. So we can, we have a couple of topics here, but as you probe these extra topics, they might reveal more. So he doesn't like talking about uh, business, education, and not that, uh, family. All right, family is very important to him. Excellent. So unfortunately that didn't create a new thing. Can you try family again? All right, good. That, 
You can risk it asking about a topic uh, twice, but I wouldn't do it more than twice. But now we got new info. His father worked in the citizens' militia in communist Poland. So now we can ask about his father from Poland. And this is a fresh topic, so he won't get bored of us asking about that. All right, now he's friendly with us. Now that he's friendly, we can make use. Also, you can do tell me about yourself. This is sort of a, 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 uh, a chance. Like, you have a chance of him saying, yeah, you know, getting good, but also have a chance of just him saying, nah, and lowering your relationship. So we're going to stay away from that. But I need to ask you a favor. Why don't you turn a blind eye to my activities? Do it as a friend. And yes, you can bribe the cops or you can dig up dirt on them and blackmail them into doing what you please. Lots of different approaches. We happen to befriend him. And by the way, it's not this easy to befriend everybody. Um, I've noticed that certain characters have different sort of friendship hit points and how much po how many positive uh, inter interactions you have to do with them to become fully friendly with them uh, is a lot more. So yeah, the game kind of threw this easy cop at us here in our starter location, but as we go on, doing this course of action is not necessarily going to be quite this easy. Hear me out. Sure, I'll be happy to help. So he will not bother us at the family home, shady neighborhood, or marketplace anymore. So now we don't really need to worry about um, keeping our profile low because he's not gonna he's not gonna bother us. Now there's that's true and not true because the other thing I've noticed is that even if he's turning a blind eye to us and not snitching on us and, and bothering us with our operations, the police chief becomes aware of sort of the general heat level being generated at each of the spots. And if uh, if the marketplace is uh, smoking uh, more than a tire fire, um, then the police chief is going to start catching wind of that, even if um, the cop is not going to start uh, telling on us. So there might be negative things if we go too crazy, even with that blind eye agreement in place. So it's an interesting thing. You can it's it's not a hard cap. It is a decidedly soft cap. Um, so what? Else? Oh yeah, the air purifier. We just need to harvest one more thing here. Um, get that in there. I'm gonna replace it right back with the plants because I don't think I need it. But I do need to fulfill the mission, if only just to keep uh, keep the the goodies going. This should get us, yes. Beautiful. All right, so let's get you a air purifier. And yeah, vigilance is already low and it's grayed out because of that agreement. All right, we got our mission done. Supermart uh, pump. This is for more high volume grows. Supermart LED, um, good for a, um, it's sort of a middle of the road. So it only raises the temperature by two, only raises the vigilance by three, but produces 75 grams as opposed to 60. So it's a, it's a, it's a good thing. It's also a little bit more expensive. We also got peat moss, a new type of thing. Now we can actually start playing with the humidity. Um, if we needed to uh, reduce the humidity in the room and we grew with peat moss, it would actually suck a little extra excess moisture out of the air. It also grows a little bit faster. Um, normal stuff is four months. This only takes 3.8. Oh, smokes. Valhalla's Rejects got a new strain. The stuff is wow. You need this in your inventory. All right, let's grow it. Not so fast. They're trucking it in from a high security grow operations in California. No way we'll score clones out here unless we do a little corporate espionage. You could try befriending them or we could just steal it. What do you think? Um, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the befriend game, at least early on. It might not be an option, but let's, uh, let's see if we can buddy up and get, uh, get some of his strain. All right, I'm going to go right the heck back to some super lemon haze here. And I think, um, I think I want to upgrade to uh, the Supermart LED. The Supermart HID, 
it's gonna it's gonna start cooking our plants if we convert all of those over. But I think we can handle the uh, plus two heat because the fan can compensate for a number of, uh, for for a certain amount here. All right, we can go down to 70 instead of 69. So one temperature over, you know what? I think that's fine. We're not gonna be ro rocking perfect stuff, but sometimes a little tiny hit in quality isn't enough to drop you below a threshold. So I'm banking on that. So let's see who our competition is. Uh, Big Bad John is the owner of this strain that we got here. Let's, uh, let's talk to Mr. Big Bad John. Um, Cause yeah, you can befriend your um, competition here. Trying to poach my customers and it'll be the last mistake you make. Well, we're not technically directly poaching yours. We're just trying to poach your, your stash. Um, but same kind of mini game, but this guy's a little bit uh, tougher to win over. So we can get our three free chats in here. <laughs> Except for cucumbers. I just lose my shit like the cats on the internet. Yeah, th this game is pretty pretty current with its memes and whatnot. All right, well, I don't want to keep doing um, chats because he's going to get bored. So let's see if we can't get any freebies from here. Business? All right, he's interested in business. Unfortunately, that doesn't op open more topics, but he likes talking about it at least. Um, he smoked pot in college. Okay, so... He doesn't really care about education, but he did smoke in college. Yeah, reminiscing about times in uh, college. Let's uh, let's check your family. Family very important to him. All right, we're so close. I'm gonna risk a tell me about yourself to see if we can't push us over to friendly here. All right, he liked it, and oh, and, he, and we got a free topic out of it: politics. Um, we might as well get that free topic. All right, and he's friendly. So now let's see if we can get a favor out of him. Give me one of your strains as a friend, buddy old pal. Help a, help a new guy out. Help a new guy out. Hear me out. Sure, I'll be happy to help. Have some seeds. Now, it's kind of random which one he gives you, but they're all kind of powerful. Tropical Bliss. Let's take a look. So now this one looks uh, a little bit underwhelming, but there's a specific group that really likes this stuff. Tropical flavor and carefreeness. Competition is gas in the un young entrepreneur's tank. But if you're not careful, it'll it's attached to a lit rag. So we got 20,000 bucks to play with and we leveled up our decent influence. Uh, so we can now start taking some perks on that side of the house. Uh, so what are we gonna take? What, uh, what are we gonna do with this huge influx of cash? What are we gonna do with this small room humidifier that looks exactly like the one I got for my kids when they were infants to help them sleep? I wonder if I'm on some kind of list. We also got some better lights. 95. Looking good. DIY hydro systems. Not as much, but faster growing time. Space Queen. A new strain here. Um, nice work so far. Time to kick it in high. Yeah. Um, if we can dominate Cleveland's overall weed market, we'll have enough money to expand to another city. Hopefully someplace we can operate in a little easier than the sweat box. All right. So in our next episode, we start, uh, the game has now opened itself up to us nicely and we can start pursuing a strategy. Like I said before, we've been spoon fed our, our, uh, um, you know, the, the strains and which customers we want to go for. But now it's up to us to make the conscious decision of how are we going to expand? Because, yeah, we can just sit here and keep uh, pushing uh, uh, super lemon haze down the throats of, uh, of the jocks. And, yeah, that's making us some cash, but it's not a lot of cash. We can make more cash. 
So let's uh, let's go about doing that in our next episode. So if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!